Hi there guys, this is Cassandra, I'm over full in time and I'm so glad you're here. Today we are doing the mass market deck collection. I don't know if you know, but A Riffle on Time started as an indie deck shop. And it wasn't until like the very end of last year where I broadened into more of like a tarot metaphysical shop and I got in the mass market. So this is my collection of mass markets and most of them are in the shop. I have been really wanting to give them their own little video, kind of their own little announcement, though I've shared some of them like throughout time and like my collection videos and stuff. I do have a pretty, I think a pretty good variety of decks here, like different, different styles, you know me. And if you're seeing this, I am running a current special in the shop on mass markets, which is buy one, get one 30% off. If you're seeing this past that point, if you still want to like participate in that, I should still be able to honor it. So if it's not like up and running, just reach out, uh, message me in the chat there and I will be able to again, most likely add that one for you. But I wanted to give them kind of a little introduction, a little special, make them feel special. I have found a lot of these decks here on TarotTube actually over, over time. And some of them are even like indie deck creators that have gotten picked up by like a publisher. So that's fun. I also technically have a few here that are like small publishers slash printers that I'm not sure if they technically fall like where they fall in the world but they wanted to be here they wanted to hang out so this is where they're gonna be <laughs> this is what I've done with them so we're gonna start with probably the first deck that I got into the shop that was mass market and that is the goddess oracle now this has always been my like my goddess deck that I go to and I found this originally from Katie Flowers. If you don't know, Katie Flowers used to have a tarot channel and this was like one of the decks that she really like gushed about. And I want to show the guidebook because this is the real meat and bones of why I love it so much. This has like a poem, it has the mythology, it has the meaning of the card, and then it has like a little like ritual slash guided meditation here at the end. And I have a trimmed copy because I saw on Waves of Your Souls channel that she trimmed her goddess oracle. And I was like, oh yeah, it normally comes completely bordered. I just threw a card. What do we have down there? <laughs> but I really love this goddess deck. And it was like the one when people asked for a kind of suggestion for this, this was always the answer. And I hated not being able to give the the deck that I recommend out. I also had like a lot of requests, especially like when I was doing events or even like online of like giving the option of somewhere else to buy a mass market. I always suggest like going to your local bookshop bookshop or like metaphysical shop for it and they're like, well you're my local. And I'm like, okay, well let me get them in. So that was like one of the first decks that really pulled to me and also Hush. Hush Tarot has been probably like one of my most used decks in that like Halloween-y, um, fall-y time. I don't know what it is about like the falling of the leaves, just kind of maybe the energy of it all, but it's all very Hush for me. And anytime, <laughs> seriously, I think anytime the leaves start to fall, I'm like, decay death let me get out the hush terror <laughs> but it's always been a really good reader for me this one breaches to that like kind of creepy weird vibe that isn't for everybody but i really enjoy for the most part I, it's it's really done me well there's a couple cards that i'm like that is a little weird but <laughs> i think it has like a really good maybe perspective shift for me in some of the cards and I I just like it <laughs> That's, I really like the sun and the moon I don't know if you caught the moon I think we already passed it but I don't know what it is but I really mm, really like these I just think they're really cool but this is one of like my go-to decks in the fall Speaking of the fall, <laughs> no, we will save, we'll save my fall stack, maybe 
for a minute because then we're going to the the real like final poll decision was being able to follow my indie deck creators over now this is a liminal 11 deck so there is an outer box on this that i don't have on me here let me grab my other it'll come in like a little box that has like a drop out and then it has that like inner box in it but for the this might hurt i really love to display it on my shelf like this so i never keep it in its original box but i this is actually this might hurt was one of the first decks i ever had in the shop it was actually opening week when it was an indie deck was the one of the first decks that like came in for the shop and i it felt so so special um this version i actually did a side-by-side -side comparison with the indie i think i have the video here on the channel i will pop it up over here or here wherever it goes <laughs> if i do remember but this was one of the first decks like i love to suggest an offer for like a beginner because it was one of my first decks and i think it's really nice for a lot of people who are looking for like a more modern uh modern take on what like i guess at the time was like a pretty normal um like the kings and queens and that disconnect was really there for me when i started and i was looking for something that was more diverse and more like new age maybe and this was like one of the first ones i found and i will the next deck was also in searching for a more like diverse representative kind of vibe i found fifth spirit now again it was an indie deck at the time but now his mac mass market it's got picked up by hay house get in there I. Hay House picked up Fifth Spirit and this was the other deck that I found that I really enjoyed and then also Numinous. But Numinous is still an indie deck currently. So those were like the first three decks that I found that were really kind of like scratching the itch for a more diverse, more inclusive, more modern version of like the tarot deck that I wanted to see. And I really, I can't help it. I think this deck, the miners are just so cool to me. I'm not normally somebody who enjoys like a pippier miner. They're not all like that, but some of them are a little pippier and I can't help it though. I do. I enjoy it. I think, I think I really just enjoy the artwork as well. but it's been really cool to see these decks get picked up. What's missing from this video is Squid Cakes. Also, I forgot my copy. It is not here with me. <laughs> it is off on an adventure. I like to kind of lend out my decks when needed and kind of shift them around. So <laughs> sometimes you, you'll be missing. But I just, I love this deck. I love being able to see these decks be more accessible and when they're picked up by like a publisher the price point is just a lot easier for a lot of people and I, I love that I love to see them get into the hands of as many people as possible the Minds Eye Tarot now I no longer have the Hearts Eye Oracle in the shop because it is out of print but Olivia Rose is also the creator of that deck and that is why I immediately jumped on this when it came out. This is a US Games, I believe. Yes, US Games picked this tarot deck up. Now this didn't originally, this wasn't an original like indie deck, but the artist has like indie decks and then got their tarot deck picked up by a publisher and so I really love the heart's eye oracle so having the the mind's eye tarot 
<laughs> don't don't tongue twister me on that too hard but i i love uh, olivia's art and i think the like mermaidy fairy little creatures are always like really fun i love the the color choices and I had to. And I, this was another creator that I followed into the like mass market spectrum. Now, soon as I saw Gabby Herstick was taking a kind of like leap into the tarot universe, I, I followed. I have read a few of Gabby's books over the years. I think Inner Witch is the first one I ever read, but I know that just Gabby, the goddess of love tarot is just so, so Gabby. <laughs> and I was like, I can't wait to see how this turns out. I, this is another like actual book with the deck and Gabby definitely has like a cool perspective. The art is done by snakes for hair. I know them literally from this. I want this candle so bad. I keep forgetting to to place the order, but there's an abundance candle that they offer that I really have. I, I've seen it on one of my vendors that I know from like doing markets. They're always out of stock of it. And then I found out I could just order from their website and I keep forgetting to do so. But I think that this deck is super cool. Not that you care about candles maybe, but <laughs> I think that the deck is very its own thing. And I love decks that are very their own thing. And here at the back, see, what do we do next? So those are creators I kind of followed over. Let's just do basics. I did get a couple like just basic decks for the shop. I found uh, the Morgan Greer from, and so the little tin version, I found this from Lumeria Star and it felt like a cool colorway really. Like that's one of my favorite things about it is like it's almost like a maybe is it like a 70s I don't know <laughs> it does give me like a more vintage vibe I went for this kind of colorway for this 10 deck but I also got which I'll show you in a second I got a another 10 which was the universal weight so I wanted to have like a more like vintagey but still like I like the the contrast here but then the universal weight is a obviously it's um the Pamela Coleman Smith right weight Smith but this one's recolored and this one is a little softer still I think has like a good contrast though whereas I was looking into the centen then centennial version but that is like a a more muted vintage feel and you know me, I love, I love the colors. <laughs> so I thought this was like a good option too. So I just wanted to have some more like basic, like RWS deck vibes in the shop and maybe something that people like more commonly knew. These weren't the decks that I started with myself, but I do know that there are people like it and they're tens. They're, that's what I love, decks in a tin. And then I have just the like Thoth tarot deck. The, um, this isn't the larger edition. I know that there is one that's like in a, that is larger, maybe borderless. I don't know, but this is just the normal. And I really have always been super interested and drawn to the artwork in the Thoth. I have not myself went through and like bit that off yet. I don't know if you've seen my, um, like my five tarot deck challenge, but one of the decks that like I it's on my list. It's always on my list to get into is the Thoth, but I think I've always kind of made it feel like it was like such a big gap to bridge and so much to learn that I've like kind of talked myself out of it almost. But I, every time I look at it, I'm like, ugh. Then we have, let's do next, I have some like nature -y decks. I have the Tarot of the Great Outdoors. Now this is a deck that I saw that was coming out and I immediately wanted to get because I love, first, literally nature is life. 
period. <laughs> and I thought it was so beautiful. It's so bright. Now this deck does have probably one of the thinner card stocks. Oh. I literally am notorious for shuffling like these kind of cards into a deck. I just, I'll just riffle it in on accident. I love the idea of it. All of the majors are like national parks, which I think is so cool. I love the like different seasons. I everything about it I love but it is a thinner cardstock that's not everybody's like cup of tea told you I'll shuffle them right in <laughs> but I think honestly it's like a $20 deck which is a good price point for what it is and I can I can riffle it now I will say that you don't have to bend as hard since it is thinner and as long as you're like easy on it I can't imagine anything happening that's too crazy and again it's a super replaceable deck too so it is a little like thinner and kind of a weird vibe for some people but i really love it i think it is one of my favorites it's just so beautiful but um let's do a side by side do i have which deck would i say is like the most normal card stock let's do the fountain the fountain's probably like a really like average card stock that people are familiar with. This is like, um, car, like it really is like that card stock where, it, and this one feels a little more, if you can see the bend here is a lot easier, but honestly, it's like, uh, Um, maybe this is like 330. This might be a little under 300, but like 290 maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm making up stuff now. <laughs> if you want fake news, um, listen to me guess cardstock. Um, but this is, yeah, this is definitely like a thinner cardstock. That's like the one complaint I've heard about it, but, um, I really enjoy it. Really enjoy the deck and I'm... I ride a deck rough, so it's not it's not died on me yet. Next up is the Herbal Astrology Oracle. Now, this is like two things I know nothing about. <laughs> I don't, I don't. So I'm like, cool, a deck with like a nice size guidebook with info, like it gives me the information. And it's combining two things that like I am interested in. I just don't have like my own knowledge of it. So it's like really cool to find that. And then I also, the next deck it does the same thing for me, but just to like have that option. I uh, found this actually, I was doing some events with somebody who does like, um, oh, what what is the technical word? Um, herbalist maybe? and um they mentioned this deck and I was like oh wow I'll have to check it out and she does also like char your chart readings and stuff but we were talking about it and I'm like no I haven't heard of it let me let me look and that's where it came from that's where I first found it and I think it's really a beautiful deck I love the backs of these it next is the herb crafter tarot now I think I saw this deck first like a really long time ago on boho tarot maybe maybe this is a deck that i saw there i love the backs and again this was an option it's like i don't have any like knowledge about plants and like herbology or anything like that but i love nature i love plants i love it as medicine like i'll use things that i'm told that is good to use but I just like don't have my own knowledge to like riff off of so having a book that's as good as this is a I really like this guidebook and these cards Ugh. <laughs> I actually was thinking about this I think I want to use like actually let me see I think it would be cool to use like these together 
and like you're taking like the plant and then like the nature of it all and like using them together I think would be kind of like a sexy choice especially like these are so vibrant of cards um yeah literally pine and then look look at these pine trees come on they were like yes confirmation okay I, I kind of want to leave these out and play with these um so we're just gonna move them to the side we're gonna pull some cards later maybe <laughs> yeah. okay i was making sure that wasn't like directly in your line of sight okay so next we're gonna do the white newman this is a deck i think i saw here somewhere and it gave me like <sighs> i feel like when i look at especially like the wands maybe is what it is I think like I'm about to go to the Gerudo desert you know it gives me that kind of like anime gamey vibe that like Legend of Zelda does and obviously if you've been around I love Legend of Zelda but I do I don't know the wands give me that kind of energy we're we're going to the Korok forest now you know what I mean <laughs> hopefully you see it I'm not just crazy but um I really thought that the art was like really beautiful and I don't really work with uh, animal energy per se or anything like that, but um, I think it's beautiful and I'm always here for a beautiful deck. I think that imagery has to be exciting to me. It has to be something like I'm, I'm into and I just... If I want it to like speak to me, it has to be something I want to look at. Does that, does that make sense? I hope it does. Cause like, I know like aesthetics are aesthetics, but also like if I very unattracted to a deck, I'm not going to use it. So I don't know where that came from, but fuzzy. And I think last before we get into kind of my like Halloweeny stack, I don't know why the pulp's there. <laughs> oh, it's because the horror tarot's there. Um, so we'll do the pulp next because it's also not a Halloween deck. It's just from the same creator. But this is the Fountain Tarot. Now, this is a deck that I was first introduced to actually by like my tarot reader, like the person I go to for readings. Actually, that's how I was introduced really to tarot as like a reader, like for myself was through this person. So this was a deck that she used years ago that I was like, wow, that's, that's really pretty. I love how there's like movement in the cards. It's like the airiness and I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you can see like the detail of this well enough, but I think the Fountain Tarot was like a pretty well received deck when it first came out. I don't know how it is now, but I feel like I remember seeing like a lot of people have it and like it in the very beginning. But I just like, there's something about the, I need the words, I need the art words. <laughs> if somebody has like the movement off the cards, I think it's really cool. Like, I feel like I could touch the air and the water. Maybe if that makes sense, uh, it's, it's just really cool. Um, this is the pulp tarot though. Where did I see this first at? Oh, I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember where I first saw this at, but when it first came out, I feel like it really like took off in at least the circle of people I was in, like watching and like looking at. Maybe this was on like IG where I saw it. I don't know, but this kind of kind of thing is it feels so different it's like the the pulp kind of artwork is really cool like I love that like magazine movie poster kind of vibe from from then and a lot of people do a lot of people like were really excited I think about how this looks and it's a good reader I've always I've always heard that I've always seen like even other readers like I follow, they're like, everybody really loves this deck. They're like always really excited, like, oh, what's this? And I was really just happy to have it as an addition in the shop. This is one that I I follow Todd is how I think I found, yes, okay. So I think I first found this from like a fellow 
tarot creator and then I started following the creator Todd and then saw Todd post the next one as like their newest deck out and then I got a hold of him and I'm like hey do you like are you offering this wholesale I don't see it anywhere right now like it wasn't unfair or anything and they're like get a hold of like my publisher and then that's how I got a hold of it so it was like cool too I'm showing you literally the whole deck um I just it's cool but it's very different for me too of like the types of decks I have I love how I feel at least so there's like a lot of variety here and I love it I love the difference but the horror tarot I was really excited about it was like in the like first or second week of October that like he posted like the announcement of it and I was like I got a hold of the unemployed philosophers guild and I was like oh, I need this please <laughs> they're like yeah sure <laughs> sure we got you just that's so funny but this deck uh I if I'm remembering co correctly all of the majors are based off of films with the name of the like the star is the name of the movie it uses. But if you look here where you think you're going to see like the summary of the movie or maybe like the names of like the actors and actresses, it actually has like a little blurt about. Um, so strength, a contest between the most powerful, most terrifying creatures alive and a lion. Um, it's like strength. The horror terror presents the major arcana card number eight. I think it's just like really cool how it does it. And it's like the suit of pentacles, uh, the seven of pentacles look upon my works. I just think it's so cool. <laughs> I really do. I I'm just like really one of the, it's, I think this is swords. It's like comic almost books, I think. And, but again, you have like different movies I don't know we saw the exorcist earlier that's like in the minors I love the, I just love it so this is what this is wands so yeah some of the uh minors are like comic book vibes some of them are like movie movies movie poster vibes it's just like really cool and obviously like I love it for Halloween but like there's not a time of year that you don't want <laughs> at least depending on who you are like that you can't be into horror movies like I know people that's their whole personality so I am a I get scared <laughs> I can't help myself here we have a like cute Halloweeny deck we're gonna break it up because the next one I won't, I'm going to give you a warning before I show you the zombie tarot. <laughs> so this is in a 10. I don't know if I showed the 10, but this is how I like the Halloween tarot in a 10 so that I can throw it in my bag and carry it with me. This is cute and kitschy where like maybe the horror and the zombie are like pushing like the scary and like this is like gory. This is the opposite. This is like there's nothing scary here. It's like cartoony Halloween, which I think is really cool. I love the vibes of all of it. Other than now the zombie tarot was a deck that I got in for like other people that this is a little much for me sometimes I did. I don't want to say for sure that it was waves of your soul, but I thought that I saw it one her or somebody's channel here and they're talking about how much they really liked okay so before I show you the cards um, I will show you the box so don't worry you don't have to look away yet <laughs> but I really love the box it's like an ammo box and I've heard nothing but like good things from the people who actually have this deck I really like that you have this little booklet for the zombie tarot that's like so it's like like old school kind of vibes. I just think it was like a really thought out concept. Now, give me like 30 seconds ahead if you don't want to see the goriness, but the deck definitely does have like some creepy gory vibes. If you're into that, you're going to love it. And every person who's into that, who sees this deck is always like super excited 
they love it but if you're not into that you're not going to be obviously into it but when i have used it i did use it during halloween time it's a good reader i really liked the little guidebook like i just thought it was really cool and i think that it's pretty intentional like it's a it's a good set but i like i promised i'm not going to show too much because it's not everybody's cup of tea and i understand do we have anybody left yes we do okay i was supposed to say did we do it all already no we have the last stack and this is uh the tarot of sweet twilight i know i did see on waves of your souls channel if you don't know i love waves of your soul <laughs> and i really like i really like her taste in index so i will sometimes blindly follow and i just saw this deck as like what was it i'm trying to think of the tag i think it was like decks that maybe it was like like really uniquely their own or like they're different like you, you don't see them a lot or something i've not seen this deck until i saw it on her channel whatever the tag was and it's like this really cool uh what is someone compared it to tim burton tim burton vibes is like the art vibes and i think it definitely reads completely its own at least for me when i'm reading with it it feels like it doesn't feel like that like rws clony or like any kind of clony vibes it feels like it just has its own energy about it and i will read it very differently and it's like this is three of swords but for some reason it's like breaking my own heart and it's like i don't know it's just like everything feels like a little shift and i really i really think it's so cool i think this deck is like in some of the cards you can really see like how tim burton -y it is but this is a low scarabio deck if i'm remembering correctly yes and uh again it's just not a deck i had seen a lot of so i was really excited to to see it and to use it i think it's it's got that like funky energy that i like next up i saw this on lisa's channel during the hot takes maybe or maybe some one of the one of the videos but this here is a deck that i got solely off of just like i pre-ordered this for the shop i was so excited i don't know if you know this is the folklore tarot i know there's a couple folk decks out right now that's like kind of similar in naming but this is the one that has that like raised printing i love a deck that has black edges and black back i don't i just like a black card with like color popping off of it it's tarot of the holy spectrum you know what i mean like i'm i'm obsessed with that vibe and this is really simple this is like pip miners and it's i think all of it is based around uh like certain lore like the guidebook will give you it like the information i think the mine because what i'm trying to think is the miners if it does that so the miners are pretty pippy but it looks like it's still like with the the court cards will like connect it to like a, a lore kind of vibe and then all of the majors obviously but i love that you can feel the texture i think this deck is just really pretty there was a deck that i wanted to pair this with and i cannot remember what it is but maybe some mind's eye tarot i don't know really like this color and i just want to this is like brand spanking new so i've only used this like once or twice and I think this is last. This is the Tarot of the Abyss. Now this is really different for me, as you can already tell, because this is like that like monochromatic vibe, which I'm a color gal, but I love the sketched kind of vibes of this. This is like someone's sketchbook. I know another deck by this creator. And then when I saw that this was like a mass market option, it's completely again different from what I normally go to so I was like I wanted that I wanted to I don't know there's something about this like sketchy vibe that just felt like really really drawing into me and I really like 
it's it's vibe it's just really cool to me I think that it's it's just it feels like very its own thing and again you know that's something I really enjoy in a deck I love all the movement but this is another deck that I was just I think I saw somewhere and I'm just like wow that is that's really cool it's one of the US game decks I think that's a wrap guys we just went through so many decks and it was we're at 40 minutes so maybe I'll try to trim that up a little rein myself in but like I said I have most of these in the shop I just wanted to bring a place I, again I had a lot of like people requesting that I I have mass markets they wanted to be able to like order them with their like indie decks and like do it all in one order I know that not everybody has a local metal physical shop or a bookshop nearby and they want to order their decks online but they don't want to order them from Amazon I wanted to give that like space I, I love to and I try as hard as I can to to match as close to the price as I can and like having the the sale is like my little way of doing so too I just really love to be able to give the work around if you want the work around <laughs> um I am, I know that for sure I'm out of stock right now of Herb Crafter and this might hurt. And I'm, I'm working on it guys. <laughs> I'm working on it. I've been doing a lot of restocking in general. The, the indie decks, I, I got pretty low on here at the end of the year. I was like out of stock of quite a few. So I had to like Re restock a lot of those and since they're indie decks they're more expensive so I did a lot of my restocking at the beginning of the year for them and it'll be a while probably before I have either of of those back in stock but I just got back in like my three tree tarot's decks uh, my spirit speak deck so oak ash and thorn smoke ash and embers thistle down I got in iris um, apparitions a reorder of the tarot of the cosmic seed I got in outgrow yourself outgrow yourself I had I just um I messaged her like how many can I get now <laughs> I'm obsessed with this deck and all I do is recommend it so please give me <laughs> give me lots of decks um, I got a restock of the death doula but I am running low that was like one of the, my last restocks of the end of the year so I am running a little low on that I do have some green glyph oracle and runes coming um, I got a restock of <laughs> the future ancestor uh, way home and visions so I literally like restocked most of my mains yeah mass markets though <laughs> this is it guys this is this is this is us hanging out with them so um i love you thanks for hanging out today